And here's another example of how to calculate relativistic velocities. So here we have a situation where we have two spaceships approaching each other. The spaceship on the left is moving to the right at point 8C relative to the Earth, observer on the Earth. The spaceship over here is moving to the left at point 6C, again relative to the Earth. And then the question might be, how fast is this spaceship moving relative to the observer on the spaceship on the left? So again, you have to decide three velocities. You have to figure out what is the moving reference frame, what is the stationary reference frame. You also have to figure out what is the, what is the um, uh, event, and then you have to figure out what the velocity is as in relation to the stationary reference frame and the velocity in relationship to the moving reference frame. So, since we're asking how fast this spaceship is moving relative to this spaceship, let's make this spaceship the event. And since this observer is on a moving reference frame, let's call that the moving reference frame, S prime which means that this will have a velocity u relative to the Earth, and since the spaceship is moving at 0.8c, that means the reference frame is also moving at 0.8c, so we've determined u. Now the velocity of the event, as seen by the observer on the Earth, is considered v, so v is the velocity of the event as seen by the stationary observer, and so th in this case, therefore, v is equal to minus 0.6c, and that what we're looking for, the velocity as seen by the moving observer, that's deemed to be v prime. So v prime is what we're looking for. That's ultimately the velocity that we're looking for. All right, we're ready to go. Well, the first thing we want is the equation to relate these three things to each other. And we know that v is equal to v prime plus u over 1 plus v prime u over c squared. Now the problem here is we're not looking for v. We're looking for v prime, which means we have to take this equation and solve it for v prime. So let's do that. Let's move this to the other side. So we have v times 1 plus v prime u over c squared is equal to v prime plus u. Then multiplying this through, we get v plus v, v prime u over c squared is equal to v prime plus u. And of course, since we're looking for v prime, we want all the terms with v prime on the left side and all the other terms to the right. So this becomes v, v prime u over c squared minus v prime when we move it across the equal sign equals u minus v when we bring this over here. All right. The next step, what we want to do here is cancel or not cancel, but factor out a v prime. So if we do that, we get v prime times, and let's see what's left. Here we have a v u over c squared. So v u over c squared. We fract out a v prime out of here, we get minus 1 equals, and of course on the right side we still have u, and that would be minus v. Then of course we want to take this quantity and bring it over here, so we end up with v prime is equal to u minus v over uh, v u over c squared minus 1. And then if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by negative 1, so we can switch them around, so I'm going to multiply this by negative 1. Of course, whatever I do to the, the numerator, I have to do to the denominator, so multiply this times negative 1. That simply turns these two around, so we have v prime is equal to v minus u over 1 minus v u over c squared. And now we're ready to go. Now we have this equation rearranged so we can solve for v prime, the velocity as seen by the moving observer. Now let's plug everything in. And remember that the direction is important, so signs are important. First of all, we have v, which is a minus 0.6c. Minus 0.6c. And we subtract from that, and I'll put parenthesis around it so it's easier to see, the velocity of the moving reference frame, which is a positive 0.8c, 0.8c, and divide that by 1 minus v. v again is a negative 0.6c, negative 0.6c. Multiply that times u, and u is a positive 0.8c. It's an 8 right there. And the whole thing divided by c squared. And right away you can see that uh, these c's cancel out with the c squared right there. Then we combine the numerator, and that would be a minus 1.4c divided by the denominator. And this negative will cancel out that negative. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.48, plus 1 is 1.48. And finally, when we take our calculator and divide that, so we have 
divided by 1.48. Don't forget the negative. So this is equal to a negative 0.946c. And that's how fast this spaceship is moving in relationship to this spaceship as seen by observer B on the moving reference frame. And that's how you solve a problem like that.